This is Dabu7. want to share with you guys here some amazing images. And this is a lenticular cloud that was just witnessed. One individual seeing this after he was passing the top of Morgan's Pass right around sunset. He looked south and seen what he thought was a mothership hovering over Mount Tom. Like I said, in fact, this is a lenticular cloud that look rather amazing. And although they appear stationary, most air is constantly moving through and around them, condensing at the apex of this big wave. Now, they usually form downwind of mountain ranges, where the air organizes itself into this starship-sized wave. But it was a pretty cool image I wanted to share with you guys. A lot of people seeing it and freaking out, but we've seen that. I think Shasta has seen clouds like that. But this, what you see right here, what they call one of the elves in ELVE, emissions of light in very low frequency perturbations due to electromagnetic pulse sources. Now, they're saying that these, these were first seen in 1990, and this one just happened over Colorado on June 8th. They're saying that this took place high above a thunderstorm. This enormous ring appeared at the edge of space. This massive donut-shaped ring. They're saying that it was around 300 kilometers wide. And how they're explaining this is that there's pulses of electromagnetic radiation from lightning that propagates upward towards space. And when it hits the base of the Earth's ionosphere, when it hits this wall, a faint ring bursts out on that wall, lighting up this broad spot that you see here where the EMP hits. So this is exactly how an EMP would burst outward from an original source. And these things happening in nature, and you can't help but wonder if something like this could affect uh, certain places, electromagnetic energies, you know, coming into contact with electronics, uh, satellites, anything like that uh, on what it's doing because they keep us in the dark on so much. One thing's for sure. This massive ring appeared over Colorado and it was due to this EMP burst from these elves. So pretty interesting stuff here when it comes to space and weather and formations. Wanted to share that with you. I'll leave a link in the description box. And until next time, it's been Dabu7. Eyes to the skies.